which tends to rotate the rod above the AB axis. Interesting. So your axis is here. Oh, come on. Your axis is here. That's your axis. So you need to find the moment created by force F on uh, the axis AB, component of the force on axis AB. So I need to find moment on this axis. So I can take this position vector. I can take, let's come on, sorry. Let me see it, Let me go through again. I need to find the moment created along this axis here. So I can, so the very first thing I need to do is to find the moment created by this force on any point on this line. So I can do a position vector AC. I can also do BC. I can also do AX. I can also do BX. Four different position vector I can use. Am I right? Yes, sir. So its position vector from the axis to the force line could be this one, could be this one, or could be this one, could be this one. So pick any one, look at the information needed, so which one is easy, and calculate the moment for me along this axis. Come on, gentlemen, do this for me. It's coming out 36 A. Uh, Newton meters. It was the x component. X component is zero. Uh, x component is zero. Okay. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Okay. Let's find who else can give me the answer. Is that twenty one point six. What's twenty one point six? What is the X and Y component of the moment? Someone calculate it and tell me the answer. Come oh, on, gentlemen, I need the answer. Sir, uh, the X component is zero and the Y component is uh, minus 54. And the moment uh, required about AB is coming out 10.8, uh, minus 10.8. Minus 10.8, okay. 
Let us have a look if that's what we are getting. I didn't write it in X Y component. I got. Is that the magnitude you're getting? No, sir. So what's the magnitude? So it's uh, 10.8. 10.8 is the magnitude you're getting. Yes, sir. For AB. Yes. Okay, so in Cartesian vector form, what's your, 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 uh, your X component? So it's coming at zero. Oh, oh are you sure? Yes. So I have to recheck it, yes. Yeah, I have to recheck it. All right. Let me take the attendance. I need to take the attendance. Um, sir, the magnitude that we're getting that's only in the uh, y direction, right? Yep. Why is that? Um, because the rest it cancel out to be zero. Yes. Like yes. 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 That's the that's common sense. Yep. So, sir, if we sim uh, if in a question that arises, we simply uh, calculate for the y component because we can tell from the matrix determining that the uh, x and z components are zero. So, uh, would that be acceptable? No, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First, solve to find find the the vector form. Give me a minute, just a second. Let me take the attendance. Just a second. Okay. 